Sean Diddy Combs is locked up in a federal jail that has been plagued by harsh conditions and violence. The Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn has seen multiple deaths in recent years. An inmate was stabbed to death in July, and several others have died by suicide. It's these reasons, among others, that Combs' lawyers are fighting to get him out of there. They want him released on bail, rather than being kept in jail while he awaits trial on f***ing charges. He afforded three hot sinicot, as they say, three meals, three showers per week. Very uh, austere conditions, and any time there's movement in the special housing unit, it's controlled. Inmates are restrained. Leg irons, handcuffs, belly... Celebrity Insider News Imagine going from living in a $48 million mansion with every luxury you could think of to being stuck in a cold, tiny cell that's exactly what's happening to Diddy right now. He went from private jets and a life of fame to a 6 a.m. wake-up call in a Brooklyn prison. This drastic change is hard to believe, but it's real. Diddy's life has taken a sharp turn and things are already looking tough for him. He's been placed on suicide watch, meaning guards are keeping a close eye on him 24-7. What makes this even harder is the location he's being held at MDC Brooklyn, a facility notorious for its uncomfortable conditions, especially for someone like Diddy who's used to living large. According to his lawyers, the conditions are horrific and definitely not suitable for pre-trial detention. It's a massive shift from his old lifestyle instead of private chefs and endless comfort, Diddy now faces cold, plain surroundings, strict schedules, and no internet or outside contact. Let's break down how Diddy is handling this massive change and what his day-to-day -day life looks like behind prison walls. For starters, he used to wake up whenever he pleased, surrounded by luxury. Now, he's up at 6 a.m., sharp, just like every other inmate. And breakfast? Forget the gourmet meals he's used to, he's now eating a basic prison breakfast of cereal, fruit, and a small breakfast cake. It's a far cry from the five-star dining he's enjoyed all his life. This is the reality check Diddy's facing and it's just the beginning of his adjustment to prison life. But it's not just the food that's different in prison, Diddy isn't Diddy anymore, he's no longer the superstar with fans cheering his name. Instead, he's now known as Register Number 3745254. It's a way of stripping away his identity and reminding him that, behind these walls, he's just another inmate. Diddy is used to, with these mega mansions that he owns, these 40, 50 plus million dollar properties. All of these facilities fall under similar guidelines. Each of the rooms, the cells, I should say, are a 10 by eight foot cell. And inside of that cell, you have a bed, which is constructed of steel. You have a one and a half inch mattress. The mattress contains, we'll call it a bump. They call it a pillow, but it's supposed to act as a pillow. There are no pillows uh, there. You have a desk which is attached to the wall, a plastic chair, you have a locker, a stainless steel toilet, and a sink. The interesting thing is if you take just the area that is unobstructed by any of these uh, things that I just described, you basically have a three by five foot area that you can walk around. That's, that's your living quarters approximately 15 square feet. All that fame, money, and influence don't mean anything behind these walls. Diddy is treated just like everyone else, no special privileges or exceptions for someone who spent decades being known around the world. That's got to be one of the hardest things to accept. On top of that, Diddy has been placed on suicide watch, which means guards are watching him 24 slash seven. Every single move he makes is monitored and he likely doesn't get a moment to himself. Now let's talk about where Diddy is staying. He's certainly not getting any VIP treatment here. In fact, things are rough. A former warden from MDC Brooklyn described the prison as cold and austere, which means it's about as basic and uncomfortable as it gets. There's nothing fancy and every single thing is planned out. This means no spur of the moment choices, no comfort, and definitely no luxury. Diddy's life is now all about following rules and doing things on the prison schedule, not his own. Being famous doesn't help him much either, if anything, it might make things worse. Diddy's celebrity status puts a huge target on his back. In the world of prisons, taking down someone as big as Diddy would be a badge of honor for some inmates, so he has to watch his back constantly. He can't trust anyone, and every interaction could be a potential threat. It's a scary reality, especially for someone who's used to being surrounded by security and people looking out for him. And Diddy isn't the first celebrity to face these kinds of challenges at the Brooklyn facility. Remember R. Kelly? 
he stayed at the same prison while awaiting his trial, and according to Kelly's lawyer, his experience there was one of the worst she had ever heard of. It wasn't just the harsh conditions but also the way the guards treated him. There were even stories about guards taking advantage of his fame, forcing him to sing. That's right, they used his celebrity status against him, and he couldn't do anything about it. Now, this makes you wonder if Diddy is facing the same kind of treatment right now. There's a good chance he's going through similar struggles, especially since being a big name can make you a target not just for the other inmates, but sometimes even for the guards. They might see him as a form of entertainment, a way to pass the time, or even as a means to prove their power. Diddy's celebrity status could be working against him in ways he never imagined. Two, four, and numerous in lockdowns in recent years. It's so out of control inside that four federal judges are reportedly refusing to send any more prisoners here. So, Diddy might be locked up, but he's not giving up without a fight. His legal team is working around the clock to prove his innocence. They're doing everything they can, but the odds are stacked against him. Two judges have already denied his bail requests, which means he'll have to stay behind bars until his trial starts. His lawyers have argued that the prison is not fit for pretrial detention, calling the conditions horrific, but that hasn't been enough to convince the judges so far. Still, Diddy's team isn't backing down. They're pushing hard to get him out and have made it clear that they believe in his innocence. According to them, Diddy is strong, healthy, and focused on his defense, but staying strong in a place like this is no easy task. Every day is a challenge for Diddy, and even though he's used to high-pressure situations, this is a whole different level. And here's the thing, Diddy's not getting any special treatment. He has to follow the same strict rules as everyone else. That means showing up on time for bed counts, making his bed by 7.30 a.m., and sticking to a basic daily schedule. He's expected to be standing at his bedside for some of the five official head counts that happen every 24 hours. There's no room for mistakes or excuses. If he doesn't follow the rules, there are consequences, just like for any other inmate. This is a huge change for someone who's used to calling the shots in his life. Life inside the Metropolitan Detention Center is nothing like Diddy's old life. If you didn't know, there's no internet, no smartphones, and no contact with the outside world. Diddy is completely cut off from everything he used to know. Any outside time he gets is spent in a small enclosed area with little to no privacy. This is a guy who used to travel on private jets and have the world at his fingertips, and now he's stuck in a place where even the smallest freedoms are stripped away. But what makes this even scarier is that Diddy's safety is always at risk. This isn't a safe environment, especially for a high-profile inmate like him. Even the former warden of MDC Brooklyn has said that Diddy's huge celebrity status and the allegations against him involving women make him an attractive target for assault in the prison world. Tacking someone as famous as Diddy could be seen as a way to gain respect, and if that wasn't bad enough, there's the added threat from some of the prison staff themselves. So while Diddy is doing everything he can to stay strong, this place is testing him in ways he's never experienced before. But let's talk about whether things might get better for Diddy. Officials have said they're trying to make changes at the Metropolitan Detention Center. The Federal Bureau of Prisons has brought in an urgent action team to look into the problems at the facility. Whether these efforts will make a difference remains to be seen, but for now, Diddy continues to face harsh realities day in and day out. The government is going to mandate that they are responsible for your well-being. They have to ensure the safety of your well-being. So, while Diddy fights to survive in a world far removed from the luxury he's known, his story is a reminder that fame and fortune can disappear in an instant. Life inside MDC Brooklyn is testing him in ways he never imagined, and while his legal team works tirelessly to get him out, only time will tell how this chapter of his life will end. If you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Cuckoo Spill for more updates on your favorite celebrities. Stay tuned, and we'll keep you in the loop with all the latest news. Thanks for watching. Celebrity Insider News.